is cybersecurity overhyped? So with all the recent layoffs, tech recession, and all the overall changes that have happened in the tech landscape, I wanted to address this question specifically on whether or not a cybersecurity career is still viable and is still a good option for people who are beginners that are just getting started in cybersecurity and may be wondering whether or not it is still a good time to get in. So in this video, I'll be covering everything from my personal experience to the hiring prospects, salary, career growth, and everything in between. So definitely watch until the end of this video. So starting off, hi, my name is Sandra and I currently work as a cybersecurity analyst and I have about four years of experience. I graduated with my bachelor's degree in information science and technology in 2019 and I've worked in various different teams in cybersecurity from a junior pen testing role to a security engineering role to auditing and compliance and now a security analyst role. I think the first thing I want to address that is typically overhyped in cybersecurity is what the job actually looks like. So on TV and in movies, you probably see cybersecurity labeled as this very technical, mysterious role where usually there's this really techie person who is wearing glasses and is on the laptop and they're just typing away, randomly hacking into different systems. While that isn't necessarily what cybersecurity looks like most of the time, there are definitely red teaming roles and offensive security roles that have more of that aspect that you see in pop culture, but typically cybersecurity is looking at alerts, looking at logs, uh, dealing with security tickets, dealing with incidents, dealing with on call at 4 a.m. in the morning. And I really don't mean this in a bad way, but I really do think that the media sensationalizes a lot of roles, specifically roles in tech, that make it look very, that make it look a certain way, portrayed to the general public, but. In real life, it doesn't always look like that. There's going to be slow days and fast days and then boring days and really busy days. So it really depends on the sector that you go into, what role you're in. So I do think that the general portrayal of cybersecurity roles is probably overhyped to an extent. You're not going to be, you know, doing really cool and exciting things every single day on your job. There's not always going to be a lot, but it's definitely something that you come to appreciate. But one thing that I do think isn't overhyped is the salaries. So as someone who graduated with my bachelor's degree, I started my first job in a cybersecurity rotation program working in the financial sector, working for a financial services company, and my starting salary was $115,000 per year. And that is a lot of money with just a bachelor's degree, with no prior experience in cybersecurity, besides taking a few classes during school. And it also happened to be higher than my other software engineering offers that I had at the time. But of course I would be working in the New York City area, in which case, in which case six figures isn't as much as it would be in a lower cost of living city. But again, it is still a very, very high starting salary for someone who just graduated college. The other friends and colleagues that I have working in cybersecurity also have very decent salaries with just a few years of experience or just graduating college or from a boot camp. So personally, I really do think that cybersecurity has very good starting salaries, even for beginners. There definitely aren't many sectors, even in tech, that start out with, that have jobs with opportunities to allow you to start at six figures after graduating from college or a boot camp. And while I'm not saying that every single entry-level cybersecurity job is going to pay six figures, it's definitely a lot more compared to a role like a business analyst or a data analyst or other comparable roles in tech with the same level of education and background. Now, while I do 100% agree that the salaries in cybersecurity are definitely very good, I do think that the job prospects, specifically when you're just getting started, are a bit more competitive. This is actually something that I hear a lot from you guys, especially in the comments, where you may have graduated recently from a boot camp or a university, or maybe you recently passed your certification exam for your Security Plus or GSEC certification, and now, you're, and now you've been on the job hunt and maybe it's been a few months and you're not finding any solid leads or having any luck with your interviews. So I do think that a lot of cybersecurity jobs that you see are typically going to be for experienced professionals. That's not to say that there aren't any entry-level cybersecurity jobs, but there definitely are less of them compared to the more senior level and mid-level cybersecurity roles that you'll see. And of course, this ends up making those entry-level roles more competitive, and a lot of people tend to start out with IT or help desk to get some experience, maybe a sysadmin role, and then eventually go into a cybersecurity analyst or an SOC analyst role. Or if you're like me and you started out in a rotation program, which in my opinion is just as good and even better because you get to try out a bunch of different teams. And personally, I had one year rotations for my first job. So I was basically on three different teams, testing out three different roles after two and a half years of working at the company. 
And personally, I found that so helpful because then I was able to try out a whole bunch of different jobs and set of skills that I that I typically probably would have taken five to seven years to get into those roles and learn and learn what they do on a day to day basis. So I wouldn't necessarily say that it's a walk in the park or easy to find that first job in cybersecurity. But I do think that after you get that first job, that first experience on your resume, then things become a whole lot easier for you. And after that, and you'll be able to find jobs a lot more easily. And I also have a course on how to get your first job in cybersecurity if you guys are interested it walks you through the steps of everything that i did to get my first job and hopefully it can help you as well and that is linked in the description below my biggest advice here is, is really to pump up your resume as best as you can and that means learning new skills for cybersecurity taking courses passing a certification doing your own personal projects and jamming all of that into your resume and making sure the employer knows even if you don't have that actual even if you don't have that hands-on experience yet you still have experience in your projects or maybe during an internship or maybe you've taken a hands-on course or boot camp that you can add onto your resume to show that you have these tangible to show that you have something tangible so that you can stand out to employers against other candidates during that interview process and now let's talk about career growth so tech jobs in general are notorious known to have to have pretty good job trajectories especially when it comes to salaries but of course if you're comparing a smaller company versus a big tech company that is going to look very different and it also depends on the on the macroeconomic environment but i would say cybersecurity has a pretty standard career trajectory slash career growth for the typical person who may be switching jobs every three to four years as long as you're learning picking up new skills studying for new certifications which is something that is important because I think cybersecurity is probably one of the biggest, probably one of the biggest sectors with the most emphasis on certifications. There may be there may be times when you want to get promoted or get to a next level or go into a specific role, but they may want you to get certified, but they may want you to get a specific certification before you're able to apply or be qualified for a specific job. So always keep those things in mind when you're considering where you want to go in your career. Because while the opportunities for career growth are definitely there, I do think that there's definitely going to be some steps that you have to take personally to get yourself there. But of course, personally, I think that studying for a certification is a lot better than back then when people had to go for a advanced degree, like a master's or a PhD even, to get to that next level. A certification where you study for a few months and then take the exam and pass is definitely a lot easier than going back to school but of course it still does take a lot of dedication and time commitment to study for a certification exam because because the big ones like the CISSP, the CEH, the OSCP, those definitely will need that time dedicated to study to sit down and study for. Alright so hopefully this video gave you guys an idea of what areas of cybersecurity may be overhyped as a career and what areas may be and what areas may actually hold up to its reputation? Let me know in the comments below if you guys have any other questions about this and I'll be happy to answer them. Also, let me know if there's any specific video topics you would like to see from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. I post videos every Wednesdays and Sundays at 12 p.m. and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.